Okay, so we're back at eSIM Studios, and I've been messing around with the OpenAI um, Chat GPT. If you go back, we ha I have a video explaining what it is, how to use it, um, what its capabilities are, and you can see on the screen. It's basically like Google and steroids, right? So I was messing around with it and came up with this great idea. Um, probably not the first idea, but check this out. This is a great way. You, you, there's many forms of use for this chat GPT. It's basically Google on steroids, meaning it's AI implemented in searching, and you can use it to create. Um, some people use it for coding apps. Some people use it uh, writing code for Python and JavaScript. Um, you can use it to write you a book essay. Uh, algebra questions for your uh, students, what have you. But if you are a seller, if you flip phones, even if you sell a car, um, anything, uh, laptops, this is a great tool for you to, to write a smart contract. Um, and what I mean is you, if you uh, I'll put a link in the description for you to sign up, get an account. It's free. I just got, just need uh, an email. Use this to write you um, smart contracts. And what I mean again is, if you're a seller, if you sell things, even as a hobby, if you sell something, you want a legal binding contract, basically, just for proof, just in case um that proves that you the seller sold the buyer um an item for a dollar amount and it's basically a proof of purchase if you don't have a physical store location again if the buyer rips you off let's say you sell them a s22 ultra a samsung s22 ultra a phone and let's say they give you counterfeit money right and you figure out two, two, three days later that it's counterfeit money when you try to go deposit at the bank. Well, you're stuck, right? You can, if you actually use this tool, and it only takes a few seconds, I'm gonna show you how to do it. To write you a smart contract, let's say selling a device, a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is a legal binding contract. You can sign it, the seller can sign, the buyer can sign, it's a legal, technically it's a legal binding contract. Uh, binding contract watch this i've been messing around with it and i'm going to show you how to do it okay ready so let and you can also do it for rent um if you need a contract uh if you're renting a room or back garage um and you need some, uh, something legally binding uh if it's between friends even though it's a friend you never know so you want to have something in writing and I'll show you how to do the signature and everything like that and export it as a PDF, um, save it to the cloud, print it out, whatever, what have you. So let's do an example, right? Watch, right? Sorry, typing sideways, so it's kind of hard. Let me use my S Pen. Right? A, uh, let's see, um, sales... Write a proof of sale comma seller is I'm gonna use my name Taylor Bell comma buyer is I'm gonna write a YouTuber. Uh, buyer is Mark Nash. Item sold is a Samsung Galaxy S twenty two. Ultra 
I am E I uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I am Yai four uh I don't know six fifty. Okay, write a proof of sale. Sellers Taylor Bell, buyers Mark Nash. Item sold is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra IMEI blah 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 for $650 on uh what's today? January 5 2023. And let's see what it comes up with. Proof of sale, seller, Taylor Bell, buyer Mark Nash, item Samsung Galaxy S22, IMEI, blah, 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 date of sale. This document serves as proof that Taylor Bell has sold the S22 Ultra IMEI to Mark Nash for the price of $650 on January 5th, 2020. The sales final on the item being sold is uh, in as is condition, signed Taylor Bell and Mark Nash. Now, I'm going to do another one. Uh, but I'll show you how to sign it, um, <clears throat> and I'll, we can go back, copy it, and what we're going to do is copy this text, and then we're going to paste it into a Google Docs document, and then we are also going to um, uh, copy it, paste it, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my, I ac activated my uh, Google search on my on my Pixel by saying the G word. Um, so we're going to copy and paste it into a Google Docs, and then we're going to export it to a PDF. And then once we get it all up on the screen, you take a screenshot, and then you can, you know, once you take a screenshot, the your device allows you to edit the photo. Simply select the marker, and then you can sign your name next to your printed name, and then they can the the buyer can sign their name next to their name. This tool is amazing for specific things like this. Um, it just popped up on me, and um, this is a perfect way to write smart contracts. Let's say you're moving into a, let's say a friend is moving in to a uh, room in your home, and they're like, eh, we don't need to sign anything, blah, 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 this and that. Yeah, well, you know how that goes. The friend skips out and won't pay the rest of the rent. Um, so what we can do real quick, just one short little quick example. Let's say, write... A um write a twelve month rental agreement between uh let's see. Land, sorry, I'm trying to think of how to word stuff. Write a 12 month rental agreement between land. Uh, let's do this. Write a 12 month rental, rental agreement for. I'm just going to make up a random address. One, four, five, six, Cherry Hill Drive. San Antonio, Texas, 78216 for 750 per month and a 750 security deposit. Uh, so we got 12 month rental agreement for the address for 750 per month, 750 security deposit between landlord, my name, Taylor Bell, and tenant.
I'm just going to use the other YouTuber. Mark Nash. Um, no, no pets. Big one here. No smoking of anything of any kind. Okay. I guess that's it. Let's see what it comes up with. Rental agreement. This rental agreement... It was made effective January 5th between Taylor Bell Landlord and Mark Nash, a tenant. <clears throat> See all this cool stuff it's coming up with? This is, in my opinion, <clears throat> I don't do coding or anything like that. So little cool things like this that can help y'all, that can help me. Um, and using these cool new tools, using AI to... to Because it would, look, I mean, if I knew exactly who it was from... And what I was selling, I would have to be guessing. I could have this done in literally seconds. Um, if I knew what I was selling and what for, how much price, boom, I could type it up. And then here's what I'll do. As soon as it's done with this, and I think it saves your previous ones too. So if you scroll all the way up, I'll show you how to copy and paste it. And then we'll export it to PDF and then they can sign it. And you have a technically a legal binding contract. Um, so if anything goes wrong... You got something in writing. Um, there's way too many times where somebody gets screwed on a deal. So, is it done? Cool. Okay, you can regenerate the 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 uh, response. You can say, "Hey, good job. You did." It. Oh shit. <clears throat> Let's see how I can go back. Uh, submit feedback. Whatever. Okay. So now we have our rental agreement right here. There's the question, there's the answer, and then here's our previous one. Here's the proof of sale. So let's say we want to, let's just do the rental agreement. Um, let's say, so what we'll do is I'm going to copy this rental agreement. Let's see if I can, no, i got to scroll. That's going to take too long. Oh, well. Already committed. Oh no, it got my regenerate. Okay, so let's all right, watch this. We're gonna we're gonna. You're selling a phone, right? So we're gonna go to the proof of sale. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go to Google Docs. We're gonna paste it. And here you have your binding contract, right? And so what we'll do is, do I have a title? What we'll do, let me move my S Pen out of the way. Now, share and export. We will, you can print it, you can make a copy. What I'm going to do is send as a copy, PDF, OK. And then it'll give me where you want to share it. So you can basically email it. Um, you can you can do Google Drive. So what you're going to do is however you want to share it. You can text it. It doesn't matter. Share it to whatever you want. And then once you share that PDF, what you're going to do is you are going to um, take a screenshot of it. And then once the after the screenshot is done like this, watch, let me get out of here. Let's say you have this on your screen, right? Once the screenshot is done, boom, screenshot. There we go. What you can do is you want to write on it. You have your screenshot up here. You have your signature here. And then I will sign my name. And then you could even do buyer in blue. Uh, 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 yeah, buyer in blue. And then they can simply sign their name. And then you save that. Export it. 
and you have your legal binding contract thanks to OpenAI's ChatGPT. So just cool different little ways you can think of uh, messing around with that. So I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in.